Garages across America are filled with dream cars. But Vern Harker's dream has smaller wheels. You don't have to have too many smarts to do it. <laughs> it wasn't a Hemi or 4x4 that got his motor running two years ago. It was a 2 before Wood. I made, I don't know, 8 or 10 of them. I thought, what am I going to do with these? How am I going to get rid of them? He handed them out to kids at church, made a few more for neighbors, and soon found himself <laughs> yeah. in business. I thought, what am I doing here? Giving free wooden cars to anyone who passed them out, even missionaries in Africa. It just fills your heart. Knowing a simple car can crack a smile. In two and a half years, Vern's handmade 6000 He's paid a price. I got this thumb here. It's just numb because I, I cut it on the bandsaw. <laughs> no, this ain't nothing. What else do I got going on? <laughs> because Vern wants to make 10000 before it's too late. Breathing problems and health problems, blood problems, and I don't know how long I can keep it going. Doctors tell him his heart and lungs just aren't getting the oxygen they need. I've been to two doctors, one specialist and another doctor, and ain't nothing they can do about it. So I'm just building guards until something happens. <laughs> but this summer, oh, yeah. something did happen. Uh, he catched on pretty fast. When his neighbor's 13-year-old grandson okay, no. stopped over. I'm cutting out the wheels for the car. Noah Fatma walked into Vern's garage with nothing to offer. No, okay, no. Yep. But a teenager's willingness to learn. Take your time, Noah. And the promise to help Vern finish the only item left on his bucket list. Yeah, it fills my heart. It really does. Since June, that eighth graders had a crash course in woodworking and Vern's motivation. I just think it's cool that to give cars to people that are in need. But Vern's realized something too. Not good. This mission that was all his. No, I wasn't looking for help at all. Actually got better when Noah walked in. Because when I die, he can take over. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to donate these tools to him when I die. And then he can just keep, keep going with cars. Vern's still praying he'll live long enough to finish. 10,000 cars. I'm just going to keep pumping them out until I can. <laughs> and my buddy over there is going to take over. But he has peace, knowing his bucket is already overflowing with sawdust and joy. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. When Verdon's Health cooperates, he and Noah can finish 60 cars a day for the 21 missions in central Iowa and as far away as Botswana. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.